Okay. Good evening, Heroes and Heroines, and welcome to Pratsy Program again, C. Just spot as well, I mean, one thing I'm missing in OBS, just a very quick note. Uh, when I start the stream, or when I start the recording, actually, I have like a, a slider which I have to manually uh, adjust. So it's like one of these guys for the background music. Well, unfortunately, there isn't like, there isn't an automatic thing that, that you can just say, um, <laughs> like, lerp between um, zero and one, basically, <laughs> over a set time. There, there, there is a fade between, see, it can fade between scenes. Like, if I just show the scene transitions thing, <clears throat> I transition between the scenes over four seconds, but I don't think you can transition between uh, settings for, for your individual sources. So if they, if they added that, that would kind of help me. Well, it'd, sa it'd save me having to like, obviously do the manual thing every every single time you know the ideal thing would be like I click record and then the background music fades in over f four seconds say and then it kind of I don't know maybe gives like well I mean I can just switch the scene can I so then I, I just switch the scene to programming, whatever I fancy. And likewise, when I stop recording, like, what I tend to do is I tend to switch the scene to the be right back screen. And then I'm in that same state again, where I've got the, uh, I've got the fader for the background music up at the top. And I actually have to manually, like, fade the damn thing out. And then I click stop recording. But it'd be kind of nice if there was a way to just automate that, <laughs> just to sort of save me having to, you know, manually do this. But anyway, that's all by the by, and that's three minutes we've spent discussing OBS when we could have been programming. And Sherlock Night Three's arrived. Hello, Sherlock. How's it going, dude? Yesterday, we sorted out the path situation. So this is basically to explain, if I call my program with all of these paths, the, uh, this is the CSS path, the JavaScript path, and the images path. What am I doing? Well, I'll explain in just a sec. Um, call it with these. Um, if it knows that we are doing a project's worth of stuff, then it will correctly do the paths for the, the two different types of uh, page, basically. So to show that, I think I can. I think I could show this. Um, <laughs> So like this is the index page, and it uses these. This is like the path that I actually passed. But if I go to one of these pages, it has like it append it it prepends like um, another pair another directory up basically. So it all points to the right place, which is just a it's just a very simple thing, but it's. It is something that just had to be done. And then what I did was I well I stuffed the index into a into a new collation buffer ready for integrating it with a template. And then I started to to um, change how the template thing works. And this is what I'm gonna to do today, Sherlock. 
So this is the t validate template uh, function. And currently all it does is it goes through the template. So I'll just show you what template looks like. Um, I also renamed these to so template player. Don't you know? So a template is this kind of a thing. It's a HTML file that contains tags. And these tags are where um, where our stuff gets put, basically. I do have three or four, three to four, that's new, yeah, I do. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that, that bothers me as well, actually. <laughs> um, so this is a template. And all this does is, it, um, it leaps through the template. Just checking that it doesn't have like too many, too many particular tag. So this contains more than one tag here. This is the includes tag. So like a, a page can only have one includes tag. And like the the player tag must come after the. Oh, sorry, the script. Yeah, the script tag. The script tag must come after the player tag. Um, so, so that's all it does. It just literally um, make sure that those things are all okay. Okay, so it go it goes through, basically. It goes through looking doing this sort of thing. It's looking for first of all, it's looking for an exclamation mark. And then it sees if that is the start of a comment. And if it is, then it goes in and it sees if that that matches with one of our tags, basically. So this yeah, this so these loops here, this is looping through the full file. This if is um first of all finding a comment. And then this while I mean it's this while really that's troubling me, but I can't get rid of it. Um, cause if I tr if I just try and get rid of it, so I think yeah, it just doesn't um, it just doesn't give me the right right information. <laughs> Is that just because this is in the wrong place, maybe? No, I don't, I don't think it is, but... I mean, maybe these loops are busted. But this for loop goes over the tags, basically. It loops over our tags array. And the tags array is this basically. It loops over this to see if, and then tests if if the comment that we found matches one of those tags. And if it does, then it uh, <clears throat> it goes to the switch loop, the switch statement, and does the does the little logic there. And it was this thing here. It's really the, the case of like, it was going in. So yeah, this this whole thing is happening twice, basically. <laughs> the, the validate template person iterates through the file, checking against the the tags, but then also, if I go, uh, it's um, buffers to HTML. This person then does the same stuff.
And it's basically this um, that I'm trying to get rid of today. Like, um, rather than making buffers to HTML, um, rather than making buffers to HTML have to do the same thing, like, find where it has to insert the stuff. I want validate templates to actually encode that information. So the buffers to HTML, all it needs to do is, it needs to follow the instructions given to it by validate template, basically. And those instructions will be, um, essentially to take the, t yeah, to use the template that were given, to loop through the template, write out a certain number of characters from the template which are given to us by the um, validate thing by the packing up of it write out this number of characters from the template into a output buffer although probably we'll, we'll probably just get rid of this output buffer and just make it make it be the master buffer because this is the master buffer still isn't actually being used for anything Like we claim the we claim the master buffer up here, but anyway, that this is another this is another side of it, all kind of sort of administrative nonsense. <laughs> but yeah, this would it would write out this number of characters from the template, and then there would be a marker saying, um, after having written out this this many characters, write out the contents of one of the collation buffers give uh, that specified by like the code the the tag code that would be encoded in the in the stuff and then after having done that if there's any if there are any more kind of codes and offsets to deal with then write out this number of characters from the template and then write out the uh, this collation buffer, basically. And then if there's no more offsets, if there's no more of those little markers, then just write out to the end of the file. So that would just literally save save this from having to having to do the searching itself, because that's essentially what this is doing. It's searching for the it's searching for a, an exclamation mark. And then double checking that this is then an actual opening comment, and then it goes into the loop and it sees if it sees if it matches with the comment. Uh, sorry, sorry, it sees if it matches with the tag, which is one of these people here. And this is actually this is old old stuff. Um, like the validate template function looked exactly like this, but I've actually changed that to use the tags, um, tags array. So if that made any sense at all, that's basically what I'm trying to be doing today. And I think that should make things a bit more straightforward because it would, um, it would just kind of like, reduce the number of errors that I could make a guess and also it'd speed up the actual writing out of the, th of the stuff so validate let's so let's just go for it <laughs> well it's over there and also I do want to sort of see here I think we want to count actually So this is going to tell me how many tags are in it. So tag count. So we actually know how many, how many to iterate through. And 
minus 16. I think this is just so I know. So yeah, so I know how large the template struct actually is. So that I can allocate enough space for it, I think. Let's just say tag, tag offset. It's going to be a tag and a tag is going to be an offset and a tag code. And a tag code is one of these people. Oh, well, well, it's, um, it's, it's one of these, which corresponds to this stuff in here. Tag offset. Uh, is that correct? <laughs> code yeah the tag code and then the tag code would correspond with the tag which we look up into yeah I, I think we've got all the information that we need I mean I could be completely mistaken and I might have missed Miss some very important stuff. But I think that's, uh, I think that should be okay. So let's go for it. Oh yeah, I was also thinking about compressing this, compressing these cases, wasn't I? Uh, with the found stuff. But I think what I said was I was going to I was going to work through this um, the packing up of the stuff first. So yeah, let's do that. So we're going to have a template. Let's just let's just go for it. I mean, I might have to make this. Oh, actually, yeah, I would have to make this available somewhere else, wouldn't I? <laughs> so this would have to take a template. Let's take a pointer to it as well. Oh, right, buffer template. I see. So this is going to be like a template, the meta. So the metadata or something. Packed templates. Make this be. Yeah, right. So this is going to ha actually have to loop, isn't it? This is going to have to loop over the templates that we know about, right? If we're integrating. It's only if we're integrating that we have templates. And we currently only have two templates. We can, we can only specify two templates. So let's specify those two. So we've got a template for the player. And a template for the index. Let's 
say the template for the player This might be not how you do it actually. Just double check. Well, it does look kind of similar, actually. <coughs> so the file name is going to be equal um, to the config template. Uh, hang on. Ah, hang on. Default config. What? Oh, that's it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was just me. Right. Template is the team. Right. This is what I want. would work nope right yeah let's just actually call these actually this is like the um Play a template meta data. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that. And if config addition. This project. Then we want to get a template for that as well. Index template metadata. And we want to validate that template. So we pass it the the template buffer so this is literally just some space for us to load the buffer into a template sorry to load the template into a buffer for us to actually uh, you know work iterate through and figure out what it what it even is At this point, we haven't actually. So, this is all on the stack, by the way. So, if we're integrating. I 
think that would be correct. This is there, isn't it? So with a bit of luck, this is actually this will build, maybe not. Right, yes, it does build. But what I think I will probably need to do. Surely I'll have to put this under the heap, won't I? Yeah, actually maybe I won't. Because this is on the stack. That's interesting. Oh, and I see the my internet's gone down. So... Yeah. I'll just have to apologise for the internet... Yeah, ABS did catch that I went down there. So it's possible that the internet will just keep breaking, by the way. Um, it's been really dodgy recently. And today, it's kind of been particularly bad. I thought it was fine yesterday and the day before. Like, the upload speed has been okay. The download speed has been weird. Yesterday, the download is more normal. Um, but it's been dropping out for some reason uh, and today it's been really bad so yeah if it drops out I'm just I'm sorry but the whole thing has been recorded it's been recorded offline so I will upload it to YouTube <coughs> and hopefully if um, if it kind of goes down and up quickly OBS will not even care <laughs> it'll, it'll just kind of keep hopefully streaming as we go So yeah, I mean, one consideration here is that the template, the template meta might actually be pretty small, and it might fit on the stack. Because a template, Jesus. So this is variable. This is a uh, two byte. Uh, what is it? An int is four bytes or something. <laughs> That's four bytes. And then this is two lots of four bytes. So yeah, maybe this will be fine on the stack for now. Actually, that can't be true, can it? <laughs> can it? It's the only thing I'm writing into. Tag offset tag. I mean, maybe it is true. Because I'm not going to be writing to any... I'm not going to be... Yeah, I'm not going to be writing to any strings that I don't know the length of. And this is already an int. This is an int. And this is just two ints. Well, 16. It's an array of two ints. So maybe that would be fine. Let's proceed and see if that ends up being true. Packed template, yeah. Let's um So we're first of all going to say Well, we've already got the we've already got the thing we don't we right 
Right. Oh, right. Hang on, what? <laughs> This is a direct leak of... No, oh, that's probably the problem, isn't it? So I probably do need to allocate this. Don't I? Let's just see if I can squash that by claiming claim a buffer for the template, the player template meta. I'm not sure if that would be possible because it's a struct rather than a character array. But we'll see. Yeah, it's not a buffer, is it? Um, yeah, that's the issue. It's not a buffer. It's a um, it's a template. So that isn't going to work. Let me just try something stupid. Um, Incompatible types when assigning to type template. Right, interesting. <coughs> Whereas if I just do a car something something so like yeah so that that's fine so you can do that can get a temp a pointer to something. Could that be what I actually want? Field name not in record or new unit initializer. Uh, 
Um, interesting what happens if I run well that's gonna fail for the other guys in it but if I replicate this sort of stuff for the other person so it's just these two lines isn't it Right, yeah, so I do need to free them though, <laughs> of course. Um, So that's dying. Invalid attempt at online twelve ninety nine. Uh, and just a quick note, I probably would like to try and make this kind of thing work with my actual memory arena, rather than having to malloc just this stuff. But I'm literally just trying to get this going, just to get an understanding as as to how this actually does anything. That's leaking now. So presumably, we've just lost the free somewhere. Well, hold on a second. Buffer template.
1299 is where it mallocks the templates buffer well the, specifically the, the template location I mean, that's literally doing the same thing. So, what is it actually saying? Um, direct leak, leak of that many bytes in 100 is allocated from here. <coughs> what does 3214 say? Oh. Right. <laughs> That's unfortunate. What's happening here is that this is getting allocated twice, but it's only being freed once. Do we need the template to stick around? We don't need the template to stick around, do we? Yeah, I guess somebody else is trying to trying to use that buffer now, aren't they? So it's just trying to read from stuff that we freed, I guess. Yeah, I think this would be fine. If I have to do this. And this. Yeah. Okay, so the issue here is that a validate template is the person responsible for allocating the, the space for the template buffer. Couldn't find tag. Literally just C text it, didn't I? The reason that I made it do that. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually. Yeah, what we could do, <laughs> we could just have. Oh, we probably do need, actually, don't we? We probably need a separate buffer for the separate templates. That's probably all we need.
which is kind of unfortunate and also a little bit unnecessary I think kind of <laughs> Well, let's get it working. Um. Can that have spaces in, I wonder? Just to know if I could have spaces. So we've got both a template, play a template, both index templates. I mean, why not just do that? Right, that seems fine to me. And then if we've got that, then we do this. This person needs to take the player templates. What else have we got in here? Oh, this is the index template. And then down here, we say, So we now have um, two separate buffers into which we will load our template.html files. We also have our template metadata stuff. allocated using malloc but it would be nice if like I say if this wasn't mallocked but if it was um, claimed from like arena somehow because it's not a buffer as I say it's um, it's something else entirely so yeah I guess it I guess there's to do here is figure out how to claim arbitrary structs from the arena I guess stopped. Oh, it's just silence. Wow. Okay. So we have set the file name. Uh, although, why is it template.html exactly? Oh, 
And why isn't that being found? Oh, it's because I passed it as tempo.html. <laughs> So if I don't pass that, will it still integrate? I don't even know if I've got that printf. Yeah, printf's still in. That's unfortunate. Can I just do, um, what is it? Can I just do this to make it? Yeah. <laughs> is there a, have I got a thing for it actually, just to, Integrate. Post image management template. Eyes images directory. Please template. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I haven't. So maybe I just run it like this. I guess. And what's the default CSS thing? The default is that, which is slightly unfortunate. <laughs> Test directory is that. So yeah, I need to, I need to pass the base directory and the project directory, directory to make it actually do the project edition stuff. <laughs> like I haven't got a Cinera edition equals project thing. And even if I did, I wouldn't have these I'd have to hard code these paths. Which I don't necessarily care to do. <laughs> so yeah, I just need to run it like that. So I reckon we're probably good to go actually. We've written the file name in. We've got the count should be zero, shouldn't it? I mean, I guess I'd have to. Double check that. Actually, hang on a second. Instead of doing that, why don't I do calloc instead? Because I uh, ah right, it's just what is it? Zero or something? Isn't it? Or one? That would do it. That felt like it was. It took longer to run. By the way, Let's see exactly what the template is again. These are all going to be nonsense values if I don't set them. File name I'm setting. Yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's let's stick with what what's uh, happening now, uh, which is calocking. So here we go. Um. In the case that we find an index, 
what we want to do is we want to say do we have a landmark here the template location yeah we do although we're going to want to move this as we go because we're creating offsets so the first offset is going to be from the start of the file then the next offset will be uh, <coughs> it'll kind of be the location where that first comment is plus the the uh, string length of that of that actual comment so let's just see here case tag index we want to say template metadata uh, tag count plus plus for a start we want to then say well actually maybe do that do that last Tag off is a tag, right? Oh, we need the validity. Oh, yeah. So we'll only figure out the validity at the very end. I suppose also for the sake, because it's a struct, I should actually put this the biggest thing first. And this is probably more than four bytes. I think that's how I should do it. Not that it really matters too much, I don't think. So this is the first tag, right? The tag offset should be equal to some value. <coughs> and then the actual code should be equal to that. Let's see if that even builds. No, of course not. <laughs> Has no memory name tag, does it? What was it again? So it should have a tag. Template should contain a tag.
Oh, it's just that, isn't it? And this is tag code. Okay, so that seems all right, I think. <laughs> Let's just figure out the offset. So let us say the pointer is at the start of the location. The location has a place. The first offset is going to be the template point to take with the template location. I guess it's like far and near, isn't it? Oh, it's um, furthermost and or next and pre, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Because the locate the location is never going to move. Right. That has to stay where it is. The pointer moves through, and that is moving through wherever we. Wherever the pointer is, that's always going to be the furthest most. So what we say is um, we just set somewhere to be equal to the template location. at the start. I guess actually escape comment. Maybe if we escape the comment first, it would solve any kind of weird problem with oh actually hang on a minute. No we do need to Yeah, the start. Oh, and we also need to have gone back to the back to the dude because <laughs> the offset at the start needs to be where this guy begins. Isn't it? we found the index tag we are at the situation where the template pointer is somewhat is is here basically it's at the start of this so I really need to rewind to the start of the temp to the start of the comment This thing, yeah, this thing actually 
loops through the template so it doesn't need to necessarily be a certain number of characters Ah, oh, this is this could be a bit. But hold on a second, how do I do it anyway? I copied into buffer. <laughs> uh, like in the um, the buffer to HTML. How does this person do it? Oh right, we've got the comment start tag. I see. So we need to preserve that. Which sounds fine with me. And we do that up. Oh. Hey, uh, hang on, why do we do that? just in the first if after the first if so here it's saying That's fine. So yeah, comments start, and then we say that the offset is going to be where the comment start is. Minus the somewhere. And then we would set, they would escape the comments and then set somewhere to be where the pointer is. And obviously, I changed somewhere. I just give it a better name. Name it. So yeah, the reason for these all these loops, I think, is this loop loops over the entire file. This loop here. This loop loops over the comment. And this loop loops over the possible tags. That's basically the explanation for those, I believe. So, hold on a second. Is this just it, actually? Is this all we need to do? Because I need to set the file, well, I need to set the um, validity as well, don't I?
but we set the tag. Yeah, if we come into the tag count, we've already set the file name, and we've set the. Offset and the tag code. Right. So in our information, when we come to read the template, once we know what it's valid for, we can say whether we can integrate with this template. We know which template it is. And then we can loop over the tags, writing out stuff up to from the start to the offset, and then writing out the contents of the tag. The uh, the um, contents of the collation buffer corresponding to this tag. And then after having written that out, we then write from we then need to increment we then need to increment the pointer the size of well we kind of need to just escape the we just need, need to escape the comment, don't we? <coughs> yeah, we could just es escape the comment. And then we, again, if we're If we come to the end of the tag count, or if there's more tag counts to come, we then write out the number of characters up to the offset. And then write out the contents of one of these people. Yeah, so I, th I feel like this is kind of correct. Offset comment start take away somewhere. Probably want to say take away one as well, actually, honestly. Well, actually, do we? We want to write oh, write this number of characters. I suppose this will become clear, actually. Are we off by, is this off by one? So have I got a better idea of what this somewhere pointer is? Comment start, take away the start. Um. Previous, I don't know. Um, Setting comment start up here. Yeah, right. I think I'm prepared to.
texture if you want. Well, actually, should I do that? Can I not? Yeah, let, let's go for it. <laughs> So, template contains more than one of these people. Have errors is equal to true. Ah, right. Yeah, I would have to have a flag for what the errors are, won't I? Probably. It's not the tag index I need to remember to do change that. This is for the includes. And this is for the menus. This is for the player. So unless I'm terribly mistaken, we should have some data to deal with here. So when I go to um, buffers to HTML, TML rather, if we're integrating, we should be able to say we haven't got the um, the template, have we? We haven't been given the templates. Let's just make it take. I might have to figure out how this actually works, by the way, but. Um, And I won't need to manipulate it, so that can just be taken as it as it is.
apply a template metadata where am I so this is oh it's one of those it's a thing of a jagarpen I see, right, so, oops, I suppose a quick way of actually dealing with this just to make that take one of these. So if we're integrating we should be able to say like um, we still haven't set the validity by the way right, we should be able to say that That's just for all of the files, right? Because it's like 46 files, that's why it did so many of them. We should then be able to say, well, the validity, but this will just be zero probably. And then what we'd want to do is we want to check on that validity. And then we should be able to say, Um, tag count we should be able to say offset is equal to that code is equal to this right and then this is going to be tags i offset So some of these offsets are being set incorrectly, but we have got the correct tag code, apparently. Like these are all, these all seem reasonable numbers, the tag code, but the offset isn't correct. The first offset is 33. And we are going to have the same, we're going to have the same data <coughs> for all the files because it's the same template. Oh, 
Oh, I suppose actually what we could do. Like um we could say we could just print out from the offset. Although the offsets are busted, obviously. But let's just say if if it's greater than zero, then I want to print f sum of the templates. Oh, hold on a second. Yes, um, could I just just do this? I'm just <laughs> oh, let's just print off. Like sixteen characters. Like. So yeah, it did print. Did find the title, the start of the title. So this is the point where I'd want to start, start writing out from. But the offsets are incorrect. So really what I want to see happen is that we get the file name, we get the validity. Let's also just note that down. So we've got, I don't suppose I need to say the file name, but validity is going to be that. And we would be testing, it's the validity that we're testing on. So let's just make this a little bit clearer. So we're going to have that, we're going to have that, and that. set to the offset to the comment star to take away the previous and then we're setting the previous to be the template minus pointer Kind of seems that this is correct. The comment start take away previous seems to be correct. Previous is currently set to template that location, and then we've got previous is equal to the template dash pointer. Could that be how you do it?
So, so what exactly am I thinking I'm trying to do here? Previous is a cast. So is a previous is a pointer. So the comment start is also a pointer. Let me just um, be right back a moment. I'll leave this little screen up as well so you can kind of see see the current code. So yeah, I didn't have the inspiration while I was away, unfortunately.
Is it possible? Is it possible that this inner loop is screwing me? Like, how often have I actually seen this loop? I wonder. Um. How, would, how often have I seen that? And then... Um, switching on the tags. Set comments to her, and then switching on the tags, yeah. So it is that, isn't it? But how is that, how is the other person getting it right? Actually, that isn't correct, is it? That that isn't. Switch. Uh, hang on. Switching on the tags. Is that is this actually the correct thing to be testing in? Yeah, this does mean, this does mean that we've come to the start of a comment, surely. Let's just remove this outer while loop. Um. See how that affects the comment starting. So we set the comment start, but then we never. Well, hold on. We set the comment start. We'd never switch now. <laughs> so now we never switch on the tags. I mean, is it just that the comment start needs to be set in here, but I don't think that would be well. Yeah, it's not correct. Because um, 
This is correct. But well, this is nowhere near correct. That's nowhere near correct. Yeah, so that isn't where the start should be set. The start should be set here. Let's just actually double check how buffers to HTML is actually writing other stuff. So again we've got the got the loops. We've got the outer loop. Well, template pointer take away the total location is less than the template size. What was I saying? Ah. Oh no, no, that is correct. So you seem to be exactly the same. Oh no, well wait, the, so the problem is, <laughs> the problem is that comment start keeps ending up being not set enough times. <laughs> Is it? Let's just uh, stop printing out that stuff down there in buffers to HTML. So we set the comments to start. Yeah, so this is just, so this is happening only twice. It's happening on two different uh, two different templates. So that clearly isn't the correct place to put that. <coughs> How 
how is comment start being used in the buffers.p uh, buffers.html one? That's used to set the output pointer. That is only expected to well, hang on a minute, how many times is coming to start? Get get set. So it's definitely more than 46, which is, you know, 46 files. That's a lot of things. So we are finding that, we are setting that comment start. What other information have we got here that I could just print out? previous is set up there. Previous set to the template okay. Oh right yeah. And then we we were later setting the previous to the template pointer. <coughs> so template pointer that's situating through. And the issue is occurring when the comment starts. So one way that I could do this is I could say I could then do a little loop in here to iterate back to the start of the comment. say comment start right
Uh, and I mean, then I might as well just say. Uh, I suppose I should check. Well, while it's um, greater than or equal to the template location. Well, I'm willing to check as this, uh, check this stuff as well. By the way, well, this is just to see if it'll do anything sane. So it's going to be that comment there. And then when I go down to build um, HTML, can we enable this printout? So yeah, it's not going to set right at all.
the first one is correct. Comment start. second oh don't we need to break out of this full loop somehow <laughs> There we go, <laughs> I think. Well, maybe not actually. Just check out buffer data and does does the um leaping. And also actually let's <coughs> let's copy this entire function into a new buffer. Just get the the loops. Oh, I don't clip, don't care about that. Right, so if we're in scripts yeah. This is the new stuff, which I don't care about yet. Don't care about any of that. What's this? This is the output, so I don't care about this. So leaving it with that, if this, then we set the comment and we say while that. And then here is essentially well, just so I don't remove anything unnecessary, might necessarily need. Let's just remove the if else is so at least I've got one instance.
can be the output point to the comment start. So leaping through the file, if we see the start of the comment, then we want to loop, continue looping through the file. If one of the tags matches, then we copy the buffer out. And then we do another while loop. So we're just escaping the comments here. And then we break. Ah. Oh. That's the issue, isn't it? I need to break. After my switch statements. Right, so this is breaking out of this little thing. But I do need to break here, don't I? What difference does that make? Could I actually do this on just the one file? Yeah. So that seems to be setting the DOS is exactly the same, whether or not I break here. Uh, Right there. Now we're getting this error, and we're only getting one tag.
Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of brute forcing it, kind of. Don't really have a good handle on what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So that offset went down to twenty six from thirty three. To this file, when I find a comment, I want to set an offset here, and that offset basically says write everything up until that offset, and then write out the comment, write out the uh, title. I should have the pointer then here. And that needs to continue iterating until it finds the next comment. And then I leave an offset here. Hang on a minute. Escape comments, templates.
so it does get moved to 404 That is correct the first time through. template pointer because the first person just comes in and sets the offset to the comment start take or the previous yes yeah, so as I was thinking before comment start is only being set once shouldn't happen. We should have comment start being set for each tag. So it does seem like these loops are busted.
Saves over the file. This ch this finds the start of a comment. Then this proceeds to loop through the file. Yeah, I do feel like this loop here is just not correct at all. <laughs> yeah, this feels completely busted. Because what I want to have happen, we find a comment, we see if that comment matches a tag. If it doesn't, so hey, we're li looping all of the tags. If it matches, then we process it. Loop over the file once. If we find a comment, we want to say while well, we're still in the comments. Well, actually, no. It's if if we find that we're in the comments, ah, hang on. If we're in a comment, then we want to. If we're in a comment, we want to loop while the pointer doesn't match a tag. <laughs> or something. How long have I got left of this soundtrack? Two and a half minutes. All right, I think I'm going to call it here actually because I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm really fully on top of what's happening. I'm just going to put a to do here, which is like. straighten out this looping. Because this is where, this is causing us the trouble, I think. Let me just see what the to-dos. So I've got a to-do down there, which is like, if one, end if. Let's get rid of that. Handle will turn, go, is that still? still holds. So this is check the output path. This directory name. What is it to do here? Maybe loft out into a function maybe?
So, yeah, we still got this to do in here, which is to do with the templates. That's helping me at all. All that. Yeah, then the rest is just the, the existing stuff. To do about integrates, yeah. So this is basically where I kind of am. And then this is this is all our validate template stuff. Yeah, so Yeah, I think the rest is just all previous to do's. So yeah, this is it. It's straight out this straight out this looping. So this is one I'm gonna try and try and actually nail tomorrow. I guess I could see maybe one way of tackling it would be to see how buffers to HTML loops and then try and straighten out how that loops, maybe. Because we know that that is producing the correct stuff. I mean, we do we do also know that this is producing the correct validation as well. So <laughs> it's a bit of a it's a bit bamboozling. Uh, but yeah, that, that's what we'll tackle tomorrow. But I think generally like today we, we managed to get this kind of logic this part of it seems to be kind of half right and at least we got the we've managed to get the notion of actually writing out some sort of metadata into the thing the only thing the only th other thing there was figuring out how to um how to claim buffer Structs. So it's um, yeah, I think that would be reasonable. Oh yeah, and we also need to insertion sort into the index. But that should be pretty easy. Insertion sorting into the index. Uh, anyway, yeah. So we've we've been at it for two and a half hours, which is sort of like a traditional-ish length. So I'll call it here. Uh, thank you very much heroes and heroines for watching for being fantastic and beautiful and inspiring and uh, yeah keep programming until next time farewell for now